This programme really offers an opportunity to show young people's languages, codes, the way they communicate, the way they utilise technology, art, culture, and to demonstrate how young people's engagement with these platforms can show their aspirations, their knowledge, and all the, the culture they can produce. The idea is to create a, a national network for the visual arts to engage over four years, 80,000 young people. Well, I think arts-based programmes help us to do, beyond um, the product at the end of it, is to raise levels of self-esteem, to increase um, um, engagement in things, to develop passion. There has to be success from within and a belief that making a decision, that having an idea, that changing your environment is success. And it also offers them an opportunity to express some of their feelings and emotions about their life in a creative and artistic way. The structure of the programme has come out of really projects like Seeing Through, working with harder to reach young people and also working with Tate Collective. Tate Collective is a group of young people, 15 to 25 years old, and we organise and curate different events and workshops for young people. I really like Tate Collective meetings, uh, like pushing forward ideas, deciding which artists would like to use. I've joined Tate because of that, and they mix everyone together, and they they all interested in one subject that is art. We have four Tates across the country, but I imagine there's quite a few young people all being part of Tate Collective. I would love to be a part of some kind of exchange, just once, just to see what they're like. I'm involved in Tate because I love it. I've been involved with various projects. It's a beautiful hot day today at Loud Tate. Damien Hurst likes to portray one thing but also make it contradict to another. So that's why the event's called Oxymoron. I like to get involved with the actual planning. They would be the best event that I've been involved in. We put like a whole bunch of ideas in and it came out so well. We thought about label, you know, who am I, who are you, where do you come from, what do you do, and all this type of stuff, and that's where it really came from. So it is incredible just working with the artists, all the planning and liaising and everything about it has just been so exciting. We had Soulful Creative come to do like a little moral. There was um, performances from Shaka, Speech Devour. Young people get a bad rep. When you come to places like this, it reminds you that there's just so much talent and there's so much wanting to learn new things and to be a part of you know, something that, that, that allows them to express themselves. It was a good feeling that we've managed to make people so happy and so we felt proud of what we've done. It's extremely important that young people have physical impact on the spaces of the galleries and that it's not a kind of studio or sidelined in some ways that they can actually respond to the spaces and these spaces of course inhabited by art. There is a real focus to engage young people who would not normally attend the galleries and young people who perhaps might not be engaged in education. Young people in care, they are the responsibility of society as a whole and by making them part of an institution like Tate, it makes a change in their lives. Thinking about the gallery as this pathway, if you want, into reconnecting their ideas, their experiences and some of their aspirations. And sometimes informal learning contexts are ways of re-engaging young people into more, um, into, for instance, the national curriculum. The artists in Tate were willing to work with what the young people were saying. And I think that showed to the young people too, from the start of the project, that they were willing to listen and that their views were valued. Being in Tate Collective has affected me in the sense that I've gained a great insight on the art world um, and other artists and this has really genuinely contributed to my work in terms of school and at home as well in a great way. It's great to see the industry from inside, to see how it works, uh, to collaborate with the different artists, to be in contact with curators and stuff from Tate. 
the ways in which young people generate program is very cutting edge sometimes and also thinks about the wider context of galleries and museums. The whole undercurrent festival in the tanks, that was um, one of my highlights. I got to see the space transform to so many different things. Got to see a lot of artists change the movement of how people get involved with their works. And I also got to co-curate a few workshops on that festival. Tate Collective's organized um, a three-day undercurrent weekend. Tate Collective curated a weekend called Analog and Digital, and in that space, you could interact with the technologies, both analog and digital. Today, um, the OHP poster workshop, which is my little baby, um, grew from the idea of people being able to project their views onto the Tate Tank walls. They created a soundscape for one of the days. Each sound was connected to an activity with an LED light. I think it's just been an amazing opportunity for you as a young person. Seeing an idea happen um, just makes you feel like you can do lots more, I guess. The tanks did present a space for new ways of considering how you might engage with art and participate in art practices, etc. But I think the way in which Take Collective connected with it, with young people in mind, was a real kind of multi-layered experience. This moment is really an opportunity for us to expand on what we've learned about how so many different forms of visual culture or visual art or performance art or, or art action or participatory art action can actually be really important in how we connect to new audiences. It's a huge, far-reaching and impactful project.